Bye, guys. I'm going to go right into this, and uh, I want to say, first off, thanks, Robin. Uh, I appreciate um, you super chatting me. Uh, really do appreciate those contributions. I'm going to go over uh, Robin's drawing here. I had it printed out on drawing paper. So, um, a shout out to uh, Robin Short. That's Robin's uh, drawing there, everybody, in case you don't know that. Okay. Pretty good drawing, huh? Okay, first off, I want to bring out here that uh, I think this is a really well done drawing. I really love the fact that the individual items on this page has photorealism uh, elements in here. I think this is really good. Another thing I thought was exceptional was that Robin was able to draw this and remove uh, the cup. Now. Uh, if there's another reference photo where that cup isn't there, well, that's a different thing. But I can see this is the exact same, exact same drawing to photo. So it's really great that uh, this was removed here. And yet, it doesn't appear here as if there was anything taken out. I thought that was really good. And that's good creative license. Also, there's a lot of noise in the background here. And Robin was able to remove the background here quite effectively. I thought that was really good. As far as uh, uh, critiquing is concerned, there's not a lot um, that I personally can can um, critique about this drawing because I, I do think it is it was really well done and also that this this drawing is not, this is not the drawing. This is a printout of the drawing so some elements are going to be uh, faded out here. There are some things that I would bring out. One thing that I would like to see a little bit difference here is that the eye, the irises themselves, the eyes uh, need to be darker. Uh, I would bring that out much more darker. Um, these are more, this is a little glassier but it is a lighter printout so that could be part of the issue. I noticed it though um, on the computer screen as well so I thought okay well that that would have been something I would pick up the other thing is right here now on the if you could see closely here on the um, reference photo okay this is a shaded area right here with this right here just just mildly darker than here but on, on the drawing itself I had noticed this on the computer screen where you have, you can see the darkness part right here, which corresponds to here, but this area right here is the same tone as on the other side, whereas it's not in this case. This here should be toned down a little bit, and that way it gives a little more of it coming from the back into the front. Okay, so you want to definitely shade that down. And if by doing that, and you bring that out a little bit, that you have to darken that part you did right here, uh, by all means, just go ahead and do that. But you want to reflect what you see here. Okay. And you can see there's all this shaded area here. There's some, I can see some, that didn't make it in my printout here. <clears throat> but this was the part that I had picked up on when I looked at it on the screen. It was over here. I can see it's shaded fine over here. Everything's fine here. Again, there's a little bit of bleaching out here in the uh, printout. So, unfortunately, without having the original drawing, it's a little bit harder to uh, to talk about because it, it may not be an issue. Okay, but all, for example, right, this area right here should be darker than here and here. If you compare, here you have light. Here you have light, here you have light, here you have dark. This is darkened area here. It's shaded in possibly because of his, his beard here. You have this area here and this area here. These areas here need to be darkened in. All this needs to be darkened in, okay, so that it does give that impression of something coming out of the darkness into the light. But other than that, I, I don't see anything else to talk about here. Um, everything looks great. I just think the drawing is fantastic. So, hey, kudos, Robin, that I start with a light base. 
going with the 2H, you know, the HB and whatever. But I still have a long ways to go here to get this tone down a little darker. So I'm going to start working on that right now. Okay, so I want to start getting this down, this tone down even darker here. Let's see if that's going to do the trick. I may have to even go better than a 2B. It looks okay so far. And I just want to start getting this tone down. And when I get this tone down, then I'm going to come back and darken these other areas here. I'm using graphite. I'm not using charcoal for this, this area here. But you can all see in the reference photo that it is darker. It's definitely darker than here. So I need to get this area all darkened in right here. Now this is a transition from charcoal over to graphite. So here we got charcoal and then I'm transitioning to graphite and I have to be careful not to get the graphite on the charcoal because of the shine factor. I don't want shine on this. So I'm just going to get that in there right now. I'm going to get up to this border here and kind of get that white out there. Okay, and remember I'm holding the pencil in the back like this and let the weight of the pencil glide on the paper. If you press into the paper and then you have to remove any of that graphite, well, that's going to make it a whole lot more difficult to do. Just start blending. And I'm going to blend into transition. So from dark to light, so I'm blending in transition here. I, I need to make sure there's no demarcation. We don't want it to show any lying, you know, strong, strong lines. And if I get any splotchiness, I'll come in there with the um, the eraser, um, the kneaded eraser. As long as everything is done lightly. It's fantastic. Okay, here we go. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this uh, Kleenex and uh, remember, it cannot have any aloe or lotion on this. It has to be the ocean, uh, the lotion, <laughs> ah, tongue tied, the lotionless type uh, tissue. Okay, now if you look here, it's there's the bridge of the nose, right? You got this bridge of the nose. So I'm just going to go in the direction of the nose, the bridge of the nose, and I'm just going to go like this. You see this area right here? I'm going to reserve that for charcoal, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to have to come in here with my 2H though because I, I've got a pattern. There's a little pattern showing up here that I don't want to um, manifest. And so by using a hard pencil like a 2H, you fill in the pattern and it smooths out the drawing, the skin here. I'm not going to give him baby fresh skin, of course, because he's definitely not a baby. And I do want a little texture, but I don't want it uh, where it's like a guy who's 30 years old. So make sure that, that I get that blended in there.
All right. Now, if you look here in this area here, you notice how deep and dark this area is right here. And then you can see how much lighter it is right here. So I'm going to change gears here. And I'm going to find me a soft charcoal pencil like this one here. And I'm going to really tone this down. get a paper blender all right so say I got the I got this paper blender right here and you can see that I've used it quite a bit now what I want to do here is not only am I going to blend with this but I need it to come up and out of the crease of the eyelid the eyelid here It's a subtle blend, gives it kind of a fuzzy edge, which is what I want, which is this right here, as you can see, it's coming out of the real pits of darkness here. Sounds ominous, doesn't it? Notice that this area right here is too bright. So what I'm going to do now, is so I'm going to take my cotton swab here and I'm going to use some of this charcoal and see if I can blend over and if I can't, then I'll just go with a lighter charcoal pencil and, and get that done. All right, here's a medium with a super long point. Look at that monster there, isn't that something? All right, now, I'm just gonna lightly go over this like so and see if I can get some tone in there without, oh, I got a fruit fly or a gnat in here, it's driving me crazy. They like to go up your nose, it's terrible. Let's see if I can get away with this. The nice thing about drawing is you can always experiment, but I think I'm going to do just fine with this. Okay, it's going to come a little bit darker, and then I'm going to lighten it up by blending. Okay, so far. Let's see how this does here. But I got to bring the tone down. The tone is just, the tone is too bright. Turn the volume down, that's what I'm doing. I'm turning the volume down. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take my Q-tipa. Let's see how well that medium graphite can blend here. Okay, anyway, take care everybody, and I'll see you later. Ciao.